Hey YouTube, welcome to the fifth part in my um, RT Plane build series. In this part I'll be showing you how to build really cheap servo linkages um, to the flats to make them move. Um, now usually people would use carbon fibre rods, but you know, cause I'm, cause, uh, for sake of cheapness, I'm just going to use um, shish kebab bamboo skewers. I've got, oops, i got two here. I'm also going to be using some wire. Now the reason I use both of these is so that I can use the wire at each end to hook onto the servo and the control horn and then um, this skewer in the middle, because this is really mega light and this is pretty heavy but also really strong and just the right stuff to um, link uh, the, the, the uh, linkage to the servo horn or whatever. So, things you're going to need obviously the skewers. So this is just some um, really stiff garden sort of wire type stuff. Um, you need some aerodite uh, or epoxy, whatever, something to mix it with. That's just like a coffee stirrer thing. Uh, something to mix it on. A piece of paper, ideal tool for the job. Um, a various selection of cutters and pliers, always good. And also, some cotton, I'll explain why in a while. So, the first thing to do is to measure out how long you need them to be. So, I just put the plane over here. Whoops. Oh, let's just take that on. So, so I need um, for the ailerons, I need the linkage to be however long it is from there from the control horn uh, sorry from the servo horn to the control horn so I'm just going to get both these out here I got this little box of things uh, which is really useful a box is always a good thing so uh, where are they there we go right these uh, servos came with a selection of bits and bobs for them, like servo horns and screws and things. So I'm just going to use this simple one-way servo horn. Oops, there we go. Um, actually, for this video I think I'll start with the elevator instead actually, but basically the same thing. Uh, hang on. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this... So, oops, I'm just making sure it's horizontal. Oh, vertical, sorry. There we go, that'll do. Um, so now what I've got to do is measure the length of skewer needed, which I'm just going to do roughly. So I'm just going to get some, cut some cutters. Little cutters. Let's zoom out again. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to get some little cutters. I'm not going to cut it all the length because I'll, I'll be using the uh, wire for some of that. So I think probably about. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Um, about that much. Well, we can always change it if it's not enough. Whoa, that went off like a missile. Wait a second. But what I didn't do would be a good idea um, to hold the bit you're cutting because otherwise it can ping off and get you in the eye or something. Um, right, so now you've got that length, or rough length anyway. I'm going to cut a bit of this wire. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to get some pliers, big pliers this time, heavy duty ones. And I'm just going to take the insulation off this. So, as you can see, I've just um, taken off some of the insulation off the end of this wire. And now I'm just going to take the cutters again and just snip all this off that I've um, got the insulation off. There we go. So now I can use this. There's a little bit gone. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test it for size. Now, if we leave. Actually, first of all, right, that servo horn will need adjusting. So now I'm just going to bend the end of this over. It's really stiff, so use some pliers. About there. See if this fits. Yes, there we go. Um, so I won't be needing much. Maybe much at the most, I'm going to say. Alright, there we go. So now I've got this little um, piece here. 
what I'm gonna do is try and uh, stick it to the skewer. So I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So just take a length of cotton, you know, don't be stingy. Right. And then where's it gone? Oh there it is. Then put it on there and then wrap your cotton around. This can be a bit tricky and you might want to tie it on to the skewer first, so. So as you can see here I've tied the um, little piece of wire to the end of the skewer. Now you're going to want to do the same for all of your control horns now and you're going to want to do it on both sides as well. Now this is just, just because you're going to want... To... So I'm going to do this off camera otherwise the video will be a million uh, hours long so you just got to persevere with this really. So here's one complete but not glued servo linkage. Um, so, and I was just uh, testing the weight, and they're actually really, really light. So that's a good thing. And because this plane is not actually all that big, um, it means that they don't have to be too big or, or long. So they're pretty light, keeps, in that, keeps the weight down nicely. So that's one done, ready to be glued. Now I'm doing them all before I glue them, because the arrow die starts to set pretty quickly. And then you can't really use it or work with it anymore. So... That's one done, and I just got to measure up the ones for the uh, ailerons. So I'll just do that now, and uh, then repeat the whole thing again. So as you can see, I've done all three um, here, all three uh, linkages here for the elevator. One for the elevator, uh, one for the left aileron, one for the right aileron. Um, all the linkages are going to go on the bottom of the plane just to make it neater. Um, so now. What's left to do on the linkages? So, let's get the epoxy. Oops. Um, this is just the resin. So this is the actual. So just squeeze like equal amounts um, of resin and hardener from each tube. Sometimes you get some um, ones are when they're in the double tubes. They're pretty good. Just do that. Remember to put the right caps on. You know, it's just wasting a whole thing of uh, glue if you don't. So roughly equal amounts. You don't need to do that much. It goes a long way with this. Move it over. Oops. Move it over here. And then get your stir and just mix them together really well. So, once that's all mixed up, just take the ends of these and then just take a bit of uh, epoxy and just smother it all over the string and the uh, wire, just hold it on there really well. Because you really don't want these off string flight because that will lead to crash. Get to nothing. So you get quite a bit on there, can you? So, it's not that hard, you can figure this out for yourself. Um, so, I'm just going to deal with this off camera and then come back when all these are done. So, after you just glued it all on there, I'll uh, show you one here. Nothing much to see though. Just get a lot of um, a lot of epoxy, and uh, then you just gotta leave it uh, preferably overnight. You know, if not longer, for that it will dry before you start bending anything into shape. And uh, so I'll leave this overnight, and then come back to this video tomorrow. Okay, so I've just left this overnight now, and uh, it's it's really dry, um, really nice and solid actually. It's worked really well, and um, let's try and get you to zoom on this. Okay, there you go. So you can see one end of this, and uh, basically the epoxy has completely solidified all the cotton and stuff, so it's held the end on really well. And this is really important during flight. So basically, usually you'd have like an adjustable end or something, but I'm not going to bother with them because this is much cheaper and practically is light. So that's the end of this video. See you next time.